Hey guys, what is going on location out here in Veliko Tarnovo, Bulgaria, and today we are checking out one of the most scenic places on earth. I have been traveling around and seen a lot of places, but I have not seen many places as picturesque as Veliko Tarnovo. Take a look at this scenery. Right in front, we've got Saravet's Fortress. We're heading right into the fortress. It is built on Saravet's Hill. It was the main fortress of the Second Bulgarian Empire. Let's take a look. Right away, we have a statue of a lion, which is the symbol of Bulgaria. It's on the coat of arms. Makes me think of um, the current EuroLeague MVP, Sasha Zinkov, who got drafted, or he signed with the Sacramento Kings. I think a lot of NBA players might know his name pretty soon. I'm excited to see him play. I saw, I saw online people calling him the Bulgarian Lion. I don't know if that is his official nickname, but pretty excited about him out here in Bulgaria. So they would use these, the catapult, launch stuff straight up over the fortress walls. While this is a tourist attraction, they have left it pretty authentic. I stubbed my toe quite a few times. These jagged rocks. I guess you see there's some handrail over there, but a lot of areas. It'd be pretty easy to just fall down the side or fall off a set of stairs. On top of Saravet's hill is Ascension Cathedral. This is not a normal cathedral. Um, in the 5th century, there was a Roman basilica here. Ascension Cathedral was built during the Second Bulgarian Empire in the 11th and 12th centuries. But when the Ottomans came in and ended the Second Bulgarian Empire, they destroyed the cathedral. And it was rebuilt 600 years later, completed in 1981, but at that time, uh, Bulgaria was a communist country and the government was atheist. So apparently inside, the artwork is of Bulgarian history and there is no altar. They don't have church services. It's kind of a, more of a museum. So that's where we are headed. Let's go. Here's Ascension Cathedral. They have a map even. It looks like we are here, right on the outside. It looks like a little fortress inside of the fortress. Every 10 steps up, I keep looking back and thinking I need to get a video of this view. And, and there's a better view and a better view. I'm showing this one from Ascension Cathedral. Right up here. If I find one of these Bulgaria hats, you're definitely gonna see me wearing it. We are in a Ascension Cathedral. The art is much better than I expected. Shout out to the Bulgarian artist Teofan Sokarov who painted all this. It's beautiful. So this is where this is where the altar would usually be. Very avant-garde style, which I think looks 
pretty awesome. So you can see there's not a many biblical references as you would usually find or about the kings of the Tsars of Bulgaria. This is Baldwin's Tower, also called the Tower of Baldwin. It was made in 1930 by Alexander Reshinov, or he was the architect. And it's called Baldwin's Tower because um, the Emperor Baldwin I, Latin Emperor Baldwin I, was captured by the Tsar, Bulgarian Tsar Kaloyan, and taken prisoner, put in this fortress, and he died here. So they named this tower after him. Let's go up and check out the view. For the moment, we have Baldwin's Tower all to ourselves. It's actually got a very nice view of the fortress. Looking back, you can see Ascension Tower where we just were. The stunning views continue. This is the Yantra River and Tsar Boris III Bridge was built in 1930. The fortress is not far. It is right up there. Yeah, you can see the fortifications. So we're down here. And this, what we're gonna check out, is Holy Forty Martyrs Church. So this Eastern Orthodox Church was constructed in 1230. And some of the significance is that royal family members are buried here, along with Tsar Ivan Asin II and uh, Tsar Kaloyan from the Second Bulgarian Empire. People are throwing money for good luck. I'll throw, I'll throw something down, maybe. Maybe it'll bring me some luck and some of you guys are gonna subscribe to the channel. This is the burial of Tsar Kaloyan. Oh, it was inside. Oh. Sorry about the construction noise. Let's take one last look at the Tsarevets Fortress. Head into the city here. But first, I found something. So this was 12 levies. It's about six dollars. Now I'm 
blending right in. Everybody's gonna think I'm Bulgarian. Getting hungry. I wanna get some Bulgarian food, and I found this place, Bulgarian National Restaurant. I can think of no better place to probably eat Bulgarian food, so let's check it out. This is it. To be honest, when I see these, I don't think that they're in Cyrillic, and then I suddenly think that it says Mexican. Uh, well, not gonna be eating here. All right, so that first restaurant didn't work out. We're gonna go to this one, Shastivitsa. It is a chain around Bulgaria, but this is the very first one. All right, so for an appetizer, I went with the Chopska salad. Remember, I got this back in Niche, Serbia. So this is a little bit different. It still has the cucumbers, the tomatoes. Um, it's got some peppers, cheese. And the reason that this is the national salad of Bulgaria, as you can see on my hat, it has all of the colors of the flag. You got the red tomatoes, you've got the green cucumbers, and you've got the white cheese. So there you go. This looks really good. Fried with this enormous wooden spoon. As expected, delicious. That soaks the salad actually was a bit spicy with the peppers. But uh, what I've got here is Svinsko. This is a fried pork chop, uh, fried in garlic, I believe. And then um, we got some mashed potatoes. It looks very good. I've also got a uh, Shmienko beer. What's it called? Shmienko. So it's got the, the logo is the uh, Bulgarian lion, as you can see. Okay, this looks really good. Tarnovo, there is a monument to the Essen dynasty. It's featuring four Tsars that ruled over Bulgaria during the Middle Ages, Bulgaria's second empire. These are Ivan, Peter, Kaloyan, who we saw his burial site, and Ivan Asen II. So in 1186, Ivan and Peter fought against the Byzantines who had control over this empire and they started the Second Bulgarian Empire. So this is a pretty neat and very large monument. There's a sword between these four horse tsars. and you get to see the monument from all around the city. Walking down in these little streets is pretty cool. It's a little bit difficult to walk. It's like the fortress with these rocks and then jutting all over the place. Very nice style. A lot of good views. Here we got a view of the monument. From the top, we've got a very nice, spectacular, amazing, stunning view of 
Lico Tarnovo. You can look down and see where we just were on Gurko Street. Some of these houses are over 200 years old. Pretty amazing. Got some nice mural of the stars. Apparently there is a dentist right down here. Up ahead we have the Samovodska Charshia Market. And they're either gonna see this guy wearing this hat and think proud Bulgarian or this guy will buy anything. So let's see what they got. Interesting, it's made out of wood. Sit and have a break next to this guy. These old streets are pretty cool. So the fortress is back that way. There's another wooden person on a bench, so it must be just part of the vibe. Making them by hand. Reminds me of the Ottoman market in Sarajevo. Well, looks like the market ends here and goes back to the normal street. If you come out, I would highly recommend wearing comfortable shoes because these rocks, after a day or two of walking around on them, your feet start hurting. Near the market, is the monkey house also known as the house with a monkey on it it was built in 1849 by Colufacetto and it has a monkey on the front yeah, I guess that's a monkey yeah that's all I don't know I saw it on some Review sites of places to go, things to see in Veliko Tarnovo, Monkey House. There it is. So I'm not joking. I've been standing here maybe 15 minutes trying to get this spot to myself, get the view, but it's never gonna happen. I think we already saw all the great views of the city already. So, if you want to see it again, rewind this and watch it again. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the tour. I got a bus to catch back to Sofia. I'll see you guys in the next episode.